know you're probably wondering why are we sitting here right now but I'm getting ready to show you guys how I wash my braids in between my um you know in between me wearing my braids and sorry for the light and my glasses y'all got to see what I'm doing and shout out to this beautiful can you guess what it is this is shower curtain so yeah <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys how I wash my hair in between like me wearing my wigs and stuff because you know it could get a little dirty like I've said previously and I just like to keep my braids show you guys how um what I do because I know some of you guys have had questions and whatnot so I'm answering them sort of kind of not sort of kind of answering them in the video I guess I can say I'll also be doing a video of like my hair journey big chop I know a lot of people have had questions on biotin and stuff also in wild grow wild um wild growth hair oil yeah I know a lot of people have had questions on that too so when I make that video, I'll answer all that, show you pictures and stuff of my hair journey, why I kind of cut my hair, stuff like that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That water felt so good. But, yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell as well. Stay black, stay blessed, and stay beautiful, my baby love. And I'll see y'all later in another video. Dab on them, but ooh, my armpit just an itchy. I am so sorry, y'all. Okay, but let's just get to the video. I'll, I'll see y'all guys later. Bye, y'all. This is how you know I love you guys because I'm showing you the raw, uncut version of myself. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash my hair, my braids, and get it back rejuvenated. As you guys see around the perimeter or my edges of my hair, it ain't cute. It's a lot of buildup, a lot of gel, um, got to be glue gel and spray. So it's time to go in and give my good hair a wash. So I'm going to be going in with that Oris olive oil neutralizing shampoo and uh, that's going to be the shampoo I'm going to be using. I'm not going to be like conditioning after like you know you regularly shampoo and condition. I'm just going to be shampooing my hair and then going in with some leave-in conditioner. So after I wet all of my hair make sure it is drenched with water. I'm going to go in with that shampoo and go around the um, my hairline with that shampoo to get all that glue and that spray up off the edges because we need that build up off. We don't want any kind of build up, no kind of nastiness brewing because that's not good for you nor your hair. <laughs> So as you guys see, I'm just going in with that shampoo and then after a while, I'm going to start like, right, well not after a while, right here, <laughs> I'm going to be combing or like scratching at the perimeter of my hair or you know my edges to get all that build up off and I'm going the same way as my braids, so I'm going back. So as you guys see, it's basically me just scratching my hair with that shampoo in just to get everything and all that build up off. I am being very gentle with this process because, um, you know, you don't want to pull or snatch or tug at your roots or your edges too hard because you don't want anything to come out, anything to pull, anything to break. So I'm going very um, gentle, not really slow, but you know, real gentle and making sure everything is coming up and off. Like me, you may need to wash your um, hair probably more than once. So this is like the first go around. This is how my hair is looking right here. As you see, I have a little bit more buildup. So I'm going to go back in with that same process of me shampooing, me scratching and doing like circular motions to get that, um, get the buildup off. So as you guys see, just, you know, scratching or however you want to put it making sure all that buildup is off and like I said just be gentle because you don't want to um, 
pull or break any of your hair since they are in braids. You just want to be gentle. It's your edges, you guys. You don't want to lose them. You want to keep them. We're here to snatch edges, but we literally don't really want to snatch edges, okay? Okay. So, um, basically, this is the end of the wash process. Make sure when you are shampooing, you do get in between those braids. And washing your hair, make sure you also get in between those braids. You don't want to have any buildup or any excess shampoo or product left in your hair after you're done. So once I'm done, I let my hair air dry just a tad so it's not drenching wet. And then I'm going to be going in with this Proclaim Shea Butter Leave-In Moisturizer. And going to be lathering that up and slathering that through my hair. Make sure my hair is moisturized and not dry while I, you know, wrap it up and let it dry throughout the night. Next, I'm going in with that organic leave-in conditioner as well just to moisturize and give my hair a little bit more to grab onto and then my favorite favorite part of all of this is going in with this um wild hair growth oil hair growth wild growth hair oil something like that <laughs> what is it called Paris? okay it's about to come up one second one second wild growth hair oil that's what we're looking at right now this is my favorite part you guys when i say i've been using this for like a good hmm three four years now and I love it <laughs> it has helped with my hair growth process and hair journey um a lot like a lot a lot it's have helped my hair grow a lot so as you guys see I'm going in between each braid making sure I'm getting up under that hair that braid because as you guys know within a month your hair is gonna grow so I do have a lot of new growth. Well, not a lot. I have a good amount of new growth. So I'm making sure I get up under all of that. Each braid is moisturized. And also, and also make sure you get the back of your neck. You do have hair back there, y'all. <laughs> you want to make sure everything is oiled and good to go. Also, I'm going to be pouring some of that oil in my hand and making sure I also, you know, moisturize my braids that are not in the, um, you know, braided down to my scalp. So make sure everything is oiled down, ride, ride. <laughs> slide your fingers through all of that hair, all of that oil to make sure everything is saturated and good to go. Um, Next, this is basically going to be the end of the video. I'm going to be wrapping up my hair in a silk scarf. Um, I also prefer silk scarves over cloth. Um, just my preference. It's kind of better for your hair as well. But this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my wash routine with my braids in my head still. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell as well. Stay black, stay blessed, and stay beautiful, my baby loves. And guess what? I'll see you guys on the next upload. Bye, you guys.